All right, so I'm installing this um, Fuelit Flex Fuel, you know, ethanol content reader. And the instructions on the website, it looks like it's being done on a Supra. I can't really tell, so here is my M340. I'm gonna do it so you yeah, can see because I don't see any specific instructions for M340. Um, so on the website with the install, I notice this 90 degree angle goes on here. But looking at this, I would only assume that this, because this is the fuel line right here. See the fuel line? There's a 90 degree angle here, and this is the only 90 degree angle before it gets to the, you know, reaches over there. So I'm gonna assume that this 90 degree angle goes here and not on that end, like um, in the instruction they're showing. It would only make sense because I would think this would go here like that. The sensor would go here, open the stuff balls. Sensor goes there, and then this last line, this last line right here, connects under there. Makes sense, right? So let me do that. Show you for show you guys one more time. 90 degree angle, see there, connects to the sensor. Then the other line that they supplied goes connects to the other side of the sensor and then runs to under here to what I'm assuming is the pump or whatever. I'm not gonna look up or get the proper names, you get what I'm saying, but that's how it looks. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, let me give this a try, see if it works. So, again, this is my first time doing this. Uh, to get this clip off, uh, where is it? This little gray thing, it goes around that. So you slide this off and then you push down a little bit on this and kind of just pull back and it'll jump right off of the fitting. And it's the same thing in there. Um, if you got big hands, I feel sorry for you because it's kind of hard to get to. You can see the gray clip right there. That's what you're gonna be reaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and get everything all fitted up all right so like i was saying with the 90 degree angle there it is so the instructions on the website definitely isn't to m340 but um it's pretty self-explanatory you know you see it looks like the old line except with that in there now i'm not sure how these fittings work i'm gonna have to figure that out i have no idea how they work they look very different this thing focus there we go so I'm gonna figure that out and get this installed okay so from what it looks like this piece goes over this and then it twists and locks in so um, if you look at that See how it twists and lock in, so it just goes over that end, and then you put that on and it twists and lock in, and then they give you some grease because I could tell this is gonna be a very tight fit in here. So they give you some grease for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. So another thing to note, one side is 5 sixteenths, one is 3 eighths, and that's because that is larger than the one on the car. You can see it's smaller. So make sure you put the right sides to you know where they go. Obviously this goes to that one, but make sure you put this one to the right way, you know, that way it fits. Okay, so remember I was saying you have to twist these things to um, get them off. Why won't the camera focus? There we go. So remember I was saying, you know, you can twist these off. Like that's how you take them apart. And then, you know, they go there and you twist them back together. So they made uh, flat sides so you can put wrenches on them because they are kind of hard to twist off. Uh, I tried with my hands and it started to hurt my fingers. So I'm not gonna bother doing that. So one side is a um, 13 or a half. And then the other side, like not the other side, but like this part right here, this side, 
is a 13 or a half and up here this piece is a 5 8 which is kind of big but yeah so it's definitely going to be kind of hard reaching down in there and doing this because you know one of the fittings is under there i don't think they thought that through but whatever let's get this done all right so i got these two assembled i'm not looking forward to this because it's very hard to you know fit anything down there to you know twist it like because you know you're gonna have to twist that onto here once it locks on i can't even imagine how hard it's gonna be to do that one because i could barely get my hands back there so that whole 30 minute install don't believe it it's not 30 minutes it's gonna be at least an hour so i'm gonna go ahead and get these other ends put on then run the wiring and make check for any leaks and then make sure everything's all good let, let me tell you be careful putting this one on because the last thing you want is this falling down back there because forget about it if it doesn't fall and go straight to the floor you're not getting it so be extremely careful like uh the phone i'm not even going to try and record any of this part but you see what i'm saying that end goes on to that part this has to go around it be careful all right so yeah like i said this one is super stressful you can barely see it under there but yeah it was hard be very careful i used both hands i had one hand coming from back here the other one here and then after i knew the fitting was on i kept it held with this hand while i got the wrench in with the other one and all types of finagling um this one just pull this cover off and you can put a wrench in from up here angled and you can get a nice little twist on it because you don't need one up here because this doesn't turn so you just need one for the bottom uh fitting just turn it you know like i said come from up top turn it and you know we'll get it to lock in then you plug in the wire harness and then you're going to run it over here to the negative and positive so there you have it everything is installed so you can see where everything is ran sensor sits right there and then the plug just kind of sits right there you could tuck that away but i don't mind it sitting up on top of that um heat mat thing whatever it is or sound sound mat whatever that is i don't mind it sitting right there it ran the wire up behind and then the power to right here so the power the hole that they left for the power wire because you here let me show you you have to take this off and then you know this thing has a hole in it and you just screw it back in you know but pinching that so i had, i kind of had to drill out the hole a little bit because it's um it was too small for that um post so whatever the supra or whatever car they used probably had a smaller um post so again i had to drill that out and then same thing with the ground um i had to extend it so you see i extended it there because it stopped like back there like near the um positive so i extended it ran it underneath and put it to that ground post and now it's all installed so i'm gonna start it up connect to the app and see how it works and see what um ethanol content is in this 93 because i don't have any um e85 right now i'm gonna go get some though 